Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you guys a short hop pick progression. Uh, so we're going to start on two knees and all you're going to need is a tennis ball for this today. Uh, if you have a regular baseball, that's fine as long as you're on some floors that aren't going to get damaged by using a regular baseball or softball. But we're going to start bare hand with this, okay, on two knees and you will not need anybody else uh, to help you with this, this exercise today. So you can do this one all by yourself. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is just straight on. We're just dropping the tennis ball right down like this. And this is another reason why you probably want to use a tennis ball so it actually has a little bit of bounce and bounces up for this. Um, later on, we're going to be doing a version off the wall where you're definitely going to need a tennis ball or something that's going to bounce a little bit. Um, so this is just straight on, standard short hop pick right here, trying to get it right as it comes off the ground. Next, we're going to move into a forehand. So if you're a right-handed thrower, left-handed fielder, then you're going to drop this knee, this left knee back, so you're about a 45-degree angle uh, to where I'm facing right now. And so we're thinking about a ball that you're coming to your left on here, and you're going to have to make a pick like this. For your lefties, you're going to have to go around the other way. We're going to be doing a forehand like this, all right? So we're just in the forehand position, up on the knees, not sitting back on your butt, dropping, working through, making sure your eyes are looking right into the, looking the ball right into your hand as you're fielding. We're gonna hop over to the backhand. Gonna get a little more difficult here. Now we're gonna go again about 45 degree angle, and now you're gonna have to kind of cross over like this, and we're gonna be dropping and it's going to be really important that you stay low, get, get yourself down as low as you possibly can. I almost want to think like your head's going to get close to the ball here, right? And we're going to have to cross over the hand and drop, and we're going to work on backhand picks like this. Right there. Head in the glove. For the next phase of our short hop progression, we're going to be actually standing in a fielding position, okay? So we want to make sure we're trying to get butt down low, chest up as much as we can. Uh, don't want to high butt and chest over like this, right? Not a good position, not good balance. If we're actually fielding a live ground ball and we're like this, we're gonna get out on our toes and uh, not gonna be in a very good position to be able to make a throw out for that, right? So we're gonna get butt down, chest up a little bit, and we're gonna be working out in front. So we're kind of fielding in a triangular position right here like this, right? So first one is just standard. Just a pick straight ahead like this. We're gonna do 10 to 15 of these in this feeling position, eyes in the glove the whole time, in the glove hand. Then we're gonna hop right to our forehand position, doing the same thing, 10 to 15 there. And then hop right into backhand, 10 to 15 here as well. The third phase of our pick progression is going to be wall ball in a kneeling position. Okay, so we're gonna be facing a wall. I'd say I'm a good uh, four or five feet away from the wall. Good kneeling position. Try to get as athletic as you can. A little bit of a hip hinge here to get athletic um, and be able to reach the ground out in front of you a little bit again. And we're just gonna be bouncing it off the wall nice and easy to start. And then you can speed it up a little bit, make it a little bit more difficult on yourself. All right, challenge yourself here, all right? You get going well, then start to go a little harder. See if you can get yourself to mess one up here. Oop, like Just like that. So now this will be the kneeling forehand off the wall. So this is gonna, you're gonna have to throw this one kind of a backhand, almost like a second baseman, uh, turn it, feed a double play to the shortstop right here. Okay, so a little backhand toss right here off the wall. Picking through it, right. head down into the glove. Notice I'm trying to work out here, not against my body. All right, we do a forehand, we still want to do that out in front. Six to eight inches out in front like this. All right, All right. that's the forehand. Now we're going to move into our backhand with wall ball here. Kneeling wall ball, working, trying, trying to work through that ball still. Try to avoid curling your wrist as much as you can here. It's difficult, really hard. Especially if you got smaller hands, it's gonna be really tough. Good. 
And on that note, if you do have smaller hands, if you're a younger person, um, you can always scale these by just using a glove. Um, the bare hand is just intended to make it a little bit more difficult uh, for the older players, but if you're younger and you struggle with this uh, quite a bit, and you can just you can use a glove with this. Um, you can also make that part of the progression, you know, start barehanded or start gloved and then work your way to barehanded either way. So for the final phase of the progression, we're going to be standing and using the wall here. So I'm going to be bouncing off the wall and picking a short hop. And again, I'm going to try to challenge myself quite a bit here, uh, make myself drop some of these and boot some balls right here. So we'll go standard right here, straight on, head in the glove, All right? Make sure the wall can see the top of your head because you're looking at it straight in to that glove hand here. But as always, keeping your butt low, chest up as high as you can here. And now I've got the standing forehand. Again, we're gonna be throwing this one um, as a backhand like this against the wall. I was a little too high on the first one, almost got underneath me, so I'm gonna make sure I get a lot lower here, get my butt down, and try to challenge myself again. Make it hard on myself here. Challenge, head in the glove, good. And finally will be our backhand. Again, this is gonna be a little really difficult here. Gotta get low, all right? Gotta look it in. Trying to work kind of up and through without curling your wrist the best you can here. Looking it in. And that is the full progression.